All right, good morning, third graders, to the 4.4 Wednesday homework help video. We're going to be going over grammar, math, and comprehension. So um, you can always, uh, on YouTube there, uh, scrub ahead forward or pause the video anytime you need to um, if I'm going too fast or if you want to skip ahead. Correct this sentence. Many foods contains corn. All right, here we have a subject verb agreement issue. The subject is plural foods. The verb contains, okay, uh, even though it has an S on the end, verbs in plural do not have the S. So it's kind of the opposite of nouns. Nouns that have an S at the end are plural, but verbs that do not have the S at the end are plural. So the subject is plural, the verb has to be plural. So many foods, plural, contain plural corn. So once again, verbs that do not have an S are actually plural. Complete the chart, ox. Um, anytime you have a word that ends in X, I was gonna say oxes, but it's actually oxen. Oxen. Uh, okay, uh, wrenches, words that end in ch, you add es to, like watches, or in this case, wrenches. So you add an es to the end to make it plural. Donkey is actually going to be donkeys. Okay, um, sometimes when there is a Y at the end, you're going to drop the Y and add I-E-S. But that's only if it's a consonant and then a va and then Y, not if it's a vowel and then a Y. Which is correct. Corn is America's. This is a possessive noun. Who owns the corn? America. So this is a possessive. Okay, hopefully that's kind of helping you out there. Is this a simple compound or a complex sentence? Well, let's look at it here. The ear of the corn is part of the flower. That is an independent clause, okay? Independent clause means it can stand on its own. It makes sense on its own. It's independent. The kernels are the seeds, okay? That also is a independent clause. That makes sense on its own. Now the question is, does and here make this a dependent clause or does it keep it an independent clause? The ear of the corn is part of the flower and, this is a coordinating conjunction, the kernels are the seeds. Okay, so this and here does not change this independent clause to a dependent clause. It stays an independent clause. So anytime you have an independent clause connected by an independent clause, uh, any, um, uh, anytime you have an independent clause and another independent clause connected by a coordinating conjunction, it is a compound sentence. Circle the sentence that is considered formal language. Would you like to go to the movies? Want to catch a movie? Okay, want to catch a movie? That's how um, you know you would talk if you were out on the playground and hanging in with your friends. But in an informal environment, like a business meeting, this is how you would talk. List the words with a prefix that means not. Okay, um, in means not. Dis means not and un means not. So we have inactive, we have disbeliever, and we have unfinished. Are all words with the prefix that mean not. Now prefixes get added to root words. So active is the root word, believe is the root word, and finish is the root word. ED is a suffix that's being added to the root word finish. Un is a prefix that's being added to the root word finish. 
An audio-visual presentation includes both sound and sight. Because vis, vis is the root word that means see, look, or sight. All right, so hopefully that helps you with the grammar. Let's go ahead and take a look at the math for today. Write the number 806 in each form, word form. 806. 806. What about expanded form? Expanded form is basically writing it like place value. So you have 800 plus, there's nothing in the tens place. So you just put 800 plus six. Carlos does 138 jumping jacks during the gym class. John only does 89. How many more? How many more? This is a subtraction problem. So we're gonna make a number line here, 138. And we are subtracting 89. Um, let's see here. Uh, what if we subtracted 40? This one's kind of tricky. That takes me to what, 98? Um, oh, I could subtract 40 more. That takes me to 58. Yes, 58. So I've subtracted 80. I need to subtract 89. So, oh, I'm gonna subtract eight. That takes me to 50. I've subtracted 88. I just need to subtract one more. Takes me to 49. So I kind of slowly chipped away at it there using friendly compatible numbers. Find the product. You guys could do those on your own. You need to memorize your multiplication facts. Draw a shape with four equal sides. That sounds like a square to me, a square. So this side, this side, this side, and this side are all equal. Okay, compare the fractions. All right, uh, this one's easy because the numerators are the same. So now you just need to look at the bottom number. The smaller the bottom number, the bigger these pieces are. So these four pieces are going to be bigger than these four pieces because you're not cutting the pizza up as much. So four eighths is bigger than four eighths. If you look at it here, four out of eight is half of the pizza or four out of 12 is not even half the pizza. So these pieces are gonna be bigger. Okay, I'm gonna do this one tomorrow. A pencil has a mass of 25 grams. If there are eight pencils, what is the total mass of all the pencils? Okay, I'm going to need to do some skip counting here. Uh, so I'm going to go 25, one pencil, another pencil, three pencils is 25, four pencils is 25. Okay, um, right off the bat, so one pencil is 25, two, three, four. We need eight pencils, but I've also kind of picked up on a little strategy here. I know that 425s equals 100. Why? Because it's like four quarters. One quarter, 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, 100. So every four pencils is 100. So if four pencils is 100, eight pencils would equal 200 because it's twice as much. Four is 100, twice as much as four, twice as much as four is eight, so twice as much of 100 is 200. So 200 grams. If you didn't pick up on that, you could have just um, kept adding them up. You know, some of you guys may need to do that and group them by two or something like that. You guys are pretty good at coming up with your own strategies. Find the perimeter of the rectangle. Okay, perimeter is the outside. That's the fence, not the grass area. So seven five. Uh-oh, what is this side? Well, this side is equal to this side. So this must be seven centimeters. And this side is equal to this side. So this must be five centimeters. Okay. So seven plus five is, what is that? 12. And seven plus five is 12 again. 24 centimeters equals perimeter. 
what is the area? Okay, the area is just length times height. So seven times five is 35 centimeters. Okay, all right, hopefully that helps you with the math. Make sure you guys are paying attention. I've noticed a lot of people finding the perimeter but then not realizing there's a whole second part of the question. You guys are getting lazy. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the comprehension. We're gonna choose two questions. According to the article, tigers are solitary animals. What does solitary mean? Okay, so I need to get my tiger article out. Um, I can always do the copy QA though. According to the article, tigers are solitary. Um, yeah, solitary means, I guess that's probably a good enough copy QA. Okay, solitary means, let me look through the article, see where I can find the word solitary. <laughs> hmm. I don't see the word solitary. Then while the animals are behind the scenes area, I come cleaning the pool. I also add enrichment. The habits, tats for arcades are large for the lions. Oh, there it is. Once their habitats are ready, I let them outside. While they are outside, I clean their indoor areas. Tigers are solitary animals. They prefer to be alone. Solitary means Alone, solitary, solitary means alone. Yeah, I guess that works. Okay, when does Katie train the tigers and the lions? Katie trains the tigers and lions. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, in the afternoon, I use that time to train the animals. I just saw the word train there. So, uh, what is the question again? When does Katie like to, in the afternoon, okay? Katie trains the tigers and lions in the afternoon. All right, hopefully that helps you with the 4.4 math, grammar, and comprehension for Wednesday. Let me know if you have any questions.